Don't worry, Puerto Rico. The Calvary is coming. The Kamala Calvary. She'll get power restored to your island, and she'll definitely for cereals deal with that crime and strengthen your economy because she loves you so much. You had the Madison Square Garden Donald Trump epic huge bigly rally where the Energons were off the charts. Tony Hinchcliffe made a joke about Puerto Rico, and now all of a sudden Kamala Harris is going to come in and rescue the Puerto Ricans because she cares so much. She didn't do anything when she was in Congress, right? She didn't do anything for, for Puerto Rico when she was the VP. But now for cereals, since Tony Hinchcliffe made a joke, I will definitely for cereals help out the people of Puerto Rico. Yeah, you're going to get scammed. You're going to get scammed. She hates you. <laughs> All she does is lie and scam people. If you think that she's going to help you in Puerto Rico, you ain't paying attention. She just scammed her own audience again, twice with the same scam, by the way. You would think that these idiot lefties would catch on to this. Kamala Harris, her campaign, and the mainstream media told everybody. Remember Don Lemon? A little birdie with spread in my ear. Looks like it's going to be big superstars for the final night of the DNC convention. Beyonce is going to perform. Take that to the bank. What's wrong with this idiot over here, Abe? Don, what are you talking about? She didn't even show up to the DNC convention. Didn't remotely. And of course, it was a scam. They all lied about it so they could get bigger ratings to inflate the Kamala Harris vibe campaign. She didn't even show up to the DNC convention. And then they ran the same scam again just the other day. They said, no, for cereal, she's coming to our rally to perform at our rally. She showed up at the rally. She said, where's my money? Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, vote for this thing over here. Who, who are we voting for? Vote for this, this chick over here. She's blackish, brownish. I don't know. Anyway, give me my money. I got a PDD party I got to go to. So she was on stage for two minutes, got something like $10 million, no dancing, no singing. You got scammed again. The same scam. Beautifully executed upon your stupid head, you morons. You got got. Now, scams can happen to smart people, too, so watch out for that. You don't want scammers taking your house. Check out Home Title Lock. Do you know scammers can go down to the county offices with fraudulent papers and just transfer your deed into their name? And then they take that deed... They go to the bank. They, they might even just sell your house. They'll sell it. They'll sell it to Beyonce. They'll sell it to BlackRock. They'll sell it to Vanguard. You won't even know because these scammers transferred your name out. You'll be like, what happened to my house? They're like, oh, yeah, 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 no. One of these Democrats over here stole it. How'd they sell my house? Well, they went down to the county offices, fraudulent papers. The person at the county office, guys, they don't check your signature on your ballots for election. They don't check signatures anymore. Ever. You pay for some of the credit card. Nobody's checking signatures. Nobody at the county office is sitting there going, well, is this the right person? No, they just go, oh, whatever. Your house, transfer it over to your name, to this other person's name, the scammer's name, and then they will sell your house. They'll take loans out against your house, and you will be left holding the bag. So get home title lock over here. Go to their website, punch in promo code SALTY, get yourself a free 30 days. You'll get a complimentary report on your house to make sure that it's not already compromised. And then you'll get their triple lock protection. It's 24-7 monitoring of your title. It's alerts if anybody's messing with it. And title restoration help should you become the victim of fraud. Head over to hometitlelock.com slash saltycracker. Now back to Scamela Harris over here. It's one thing when she's scamming her own base. I don't care if she's going to go and try and dupe these lefty morons. But she's trying to dupe the rest of us as well. She continues to run out the same. Hello, fellow American males. I super duper love alcoholic beverages in a can. Beer. No, you don't. What? There's, this, is, this is her on the Stephen Colbert show. All fake. Both these idiots are fake. Fake drinking beer. She doesn't even take a... <laughs> she has a difficult time opening it. And then, of course, oh, fake sip. Oh, yeah, it's very good. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, look at that. Uh, the same exact scam. Over here, Gateway Pundit. She gets caught on a hot mic. She's doing another fake photo op of drinking beer. She's completely surrounded by cameras and all of these. Uh, there's, there's a line right here. They're in a bar, so there's only about three feet between this and the wall over here. And it's a bunch of white liberal ugly chicks with their phones out recording her. There's microphones everywhere everywhere 
and she sits down for this fake I super duper for cereals love beer photo op with this other train wreck from Michigan. Fake sips the beer for all of the photo snaps over there. Zero, zero amount of that beer is, is, is drank. <laughs> Which is weird because she's an alcoholic. So I guess she's into wine or maybe some of that absinthe. Maybe, maybe some, I don't know, lizard people when they drink human blood. Maybe that gets them drunk. I'm not quite sure. But I just know she doesn't like beer. She keeps pretending that she's drinking beer to appeal to dudes because she's lost dudes. She told everybody on a hot mic. While doing a fake photo op to try and endear herself with dudes, accidentally let slip openly that they've got a gigantic problem with dudes, which is why they're doing this fake nonsense over here. Everything she does is fake. She's Scamilla Harris. She's, she's scamming Indian people. She's scamming black people. She's scamming liberals. She's scamming Puerto Ricans. She's scamming her own base. She's trying to scam dudes who drink beer. It ain't working because, again, just drink a little bit of it. You can't do that. But here she is. Quote, we have microphones listening to everything, you idiot. She screams out, oh, shit. And she's caught on a hot mic admitting that she's struggling with male voters. <clears throat> what a just an absolute train wreck. Look, look at this. No, is no, 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 no. She's going to. Yeah. Hello, idiot. We're listening to you. Yeah. 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 There's microphones everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You're a dumb moron. And you can't blame it on being drunk. You didn't drink any of this. Zero. Zero of this is gone. <laughs> what what a disgusting, ridiculous monster this woman is. But it's par for the course. The only thing that she's consistent with is being stupid and being a scam artist. Don't get scammed by this chick. Don't let fan don't let friends, family members, coworkers, don't let loved ones get scammed by this piece of shit over here. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching the videos for the job. If you want to be kept up to date with Scamble Harris, hit that subscribe button and big why. Because the salt must flow.